Hi guys, so now that I'm getting back into the habit of wearing makeup on a regular basis, or at least trying to, um, I figured I would, um, I would give makeup baskets a try because they always worked really well for me in the past. Um, I thought about weekly makeup baskets, but that is a bit too frequent, I feel, so I'm going to do a monthly makeup basket. So I, I, I pulled out one of my old glossy box boxes and um, picked out things from my current projects and um, a few other bits and bobs. I'm just going to start with um, like the eye stuff first. So of course we have my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Need this, love this. It is life. Um, I have my Pan That Palette palette. Um, they're just the this isn't really spoilerly, there's not much progress. <laughs> um, these are the six Essay Lauder palettes I'm working on this year. I also have a cream shadow that I would like to use. This is the um, birthday suit from Benefit. It's just a really nice sort of taupey gold shade. Really, really enjoy it. I pulled out a couple of eyeliners. I pulled out a couple of pencil liners to use. We have the brown one from Lancome, which is just a really nice kind of warm brown. And I also have the gold one from, from Clarins, which again is just really, really nice. It's a very nice sort of older gold really pretty. For brows I have two products. We have the Lancome Brow Pencil in Chantin and the L'Oreal Brow Artist in Dark Brunette. Love the stuff. It's my second tube. For face products I do have two primers that I would like to focus on using this month for the rest of February I suppose. Um, this is Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. This is just a half size and I also have a little sample of the Estee Lauder Genuine Glow, Glow Priming Moisture Balm. So I'm going to try and focus on those guys. For foundation I'm mixing the Studio Sculpt with the Studio Skin. I'm really enjoying this combination. For concealer I've pulled out two concealers to to work with. We have the Smashbox High Definition Concealer, which is what I use mostly. It's in the shade Fair. And I also have the Conceal and... Oh, it's a concealer. So oh, the gas man came and woke up this madam. So we have a guest. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to come say hi? Come on. You come say hi. Hiya. You go hiya? Hi. Yeah? Yeah. You go play and be good. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Is that you? So I was talking about this concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Concealer, which apparently is also highlighter. So I'm going to work on using that guy this month as well. To set everything, I have my Laura Mercier um, Mineral Powder in Soft Porcelain. I've been working steadily through this since I started my project. I'm also going to be working on my Chanel Cream Bronzer, which I have been adoring. For highlight, I have my Cruel Gardenia from Guerlain, which, again, really, really enjoy. Um, for blush and bronzer, we have the NARS Duo in Orgasm and Laguna, which I actually scraped a bit of hard pan off of it not too long ago, and they work so much better now, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I've also included a liquid illuminator to try and get some use out of. This is the Mini of Moonstone from Becca. Um... There's an eye product that I forgot to mention. This is the Estee Lauder Centuries Extreme Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras ever. And lastly, I have four lip products. We have a Balm de Rose from By Terry. And then the three products that are in my project 
the Last Chance Project Pan. We have Crystal Rose from Estee Lauder, which is this really nice sort of plummy pink nude. Crystal Baby, which is what I have on at the moment. And this is sort of a more peachy nude. And then just for fun, I want to try and bust out a red. This is Stay Cranberry. Again from Estee Lauder. So these are all the makeup products I'm going to be focusing on using for the rest of February. I will be back at the start of March with a new makeup basket. Um, hopefully I might be able to finish a few of these things and focus on new things next month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the little interruptions. And um, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.